question one and we've got a power question on an inclined plane. There's no diagram so the first thing that I want to do is to make sure that I've got a nice accurate diagram drawn for this question. So I've got an inclined plane and I'm over exaggerating here. Uh, the angle of the incline is theta where sine of theta is equal to 1 over 30. We've got a vehicle of mass 900 kilograms so that's 900g and it's moving down the straight road so I'm going to indicate that by showing the arrow in this direction. We've got a resistance to motion of a constant magnitude so I've got a force that's applied against the motion which is 570 newtons and I'm also told that the engine of the van is working at a rate of 12.5 kilowatts. So from this point what do we want to do? The instant when the van is moving down the road at 5 meters per second the acceleration of the van is A find the value of A. Okay so what do we know? Well let's add on the velocity which is going to be 5 and I can start putting down some calculations. Now one of the things that I know is that power is equal to force times by velocity so I can write this as 12.5, now that's kilowatts, so that's 10 to the power of 3 kilos, and that's force times by the velocity, which is 5. So dividing through by 5, I've got here 2,500 is equal to F. Well, that's going to be the driving force moving the van forward, so let's label that here as well. So we've now got our force F. Right, before we go any further we should think about how this vertical force of 900g is going to be broken down so there's going to be some part of that that acts perpendicular to the plane and the other part that acts parallel to the plane and that's the bit that I'm interested in. Again, this is going to be theta and here we have 900g sine theta. My final part of this question is just to resolve and I'm going to resolve parallel to the plane so let's make a note of that. and I'm going to assume that the direction of motion is the positive so down the slope is going to be my positive direction so that's going to be all the forces acting down the slope which is F the other force that acts down the slope is the 900 G sine theta uh, subtract the forces that are acting up the slope which is 570 newtons those are the only forces acting up the slope and that's going to be equal to the mass of the system which is 900 multiplied by the acceleration which is something that we're looking to find. Substituting numbers in now we've got here 2500 was our value for F. Sine 30 we knew was, sorry, sine theta was 1 over 30 so this becomes 30 G minus 570 is equal to 900 A and tidying this up we get 2224 is equal to 900 A and dividing through by 900 to three significant figures is 2.47 uh, as our acceleration.